Hi guys, welcome back. It's time to shop my stash for ephemera that I can add to my giveaway um, journal. And um, I've shown these drawers in a video before. I can link it up here if you're interested. I did a video where I took something out of each of these uh, drawers and I crafted something with it. That was when I was like in a crafty hole or a, I had a uh, crafter's block and I didn't know what to do so I just tried to get my creative um, juices flowing so this top drawer oh that's cute is my um, uh, Tim Holtz uh, drawer but I'm not sure if I'm going to take anything Oop. if I take anything I can use this maybe I'll use those things too so let's put those up here there's my little photo printer up here <clears throat> and then here uh, we just have envelopes and I have those little small oh there they are these I have a ton of those I got those from Amazon I'm gonna use some of those and then the next one we have just have like special papers or yeah I got these old bank checks in an antique shop here so I'm gonna use those um what are you a, re a receipt. I can use this. A time card. Ooh, urchin sticker. Let's use that. And then there's a bingo card. I have all kinds of. What are you? Coaster. And there's like some wallpaper that I got. And then uh, these Chinese forms. I got them from my friend in Australia. Let's use one of those. What else is there? Oh, we already have one of those forms in the journal. Uh, here are just like little booklets or, or like flyers and things, but I already um, sewed in one of those flip out thingies, so I'm not gonna, not gonna use any of those. This is my tissue paper. Oh my gosh, why are you stuck? Oh, because of this. So this is my card drawer. It's playing cards, postcards. Victorian cards and I'm gonna definitely use some of those playing cards and I might put a postcard in there oh there's more bingo card oh I guess that's where the other bingo card belongs what did I do with it go here um yeah so I have a lot of these uh, super old playing cards and I find these at Goodwill and um, I don't know how your Goodwills are organized, but the one, look how old this is, I think it was like from the 50s, I don't remember. Um, the way my Goodwill that I go to um, is organized, they have like this shelf in the back wall where they have all their uh, um, uh, board games and stuff and puzzles and kids toys. And um, they have a bin that where they put like all the card games because a lot of people always drop off like decks of cards. So if you have, if your dollar and a dollar tree, oh my gosh, if your goodwill has that, dig through those bins on a regular basis because you never know what you find. Because sometimes they clean out like houses from um, old people that passed away, and you find, and then they drop everything off at goodwill, and then you find these lovely, um, super old playing cards. So I've I found quite a few sets of playing cards okay so these are just book pages maps i think that's all yeah i think i'm gonna go through the things that i just picked out all right so but this one i also found this tag that i made a long time ago also with like i think that was rice paper from stamperia i'm gonna use one of those clippy thingies these are just like index clips from tim holtz in case you're wondering um, my Chinese form, urchin, and then I'm going to use one of those checks. It's from the National Bank of Calais, from 1941. Wow, they even put stamps on a check. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know if they mail the checks like that. And then we have these envelopes. And the pack that I ordered from Amazon, I can link it below, um, that's pretty. Actually came with a whole bunch of packs of all of these. So you will get those multiple times if you order that. Um, that's adorable. I'm going to use these two, I think. Okay, and then 
Uh, I also just uh, got this from a different different stash. So I have a whole bunch of these board um, cards. And I also got like a gigantic stack of them from Goodwill. Um, always look in Goodwill stationery aisle because you never know what you find. And I have um, a whole bunch of old photos from a full photo album. And this one is, looks like a theater play. And then this one is a ticket from 1953 for... I, guess it could be theater because it's seat number 25 in row M section F so I think these can go together because the person may have gone to this um, theater play and then I found this old eight, uh, 1957 um, it's a business card okay and then I want to look through these playing cards I have this ginormous stash of playing cards Oh, that's funny. Ah. Roses. Strawberries. Know, strawberries. Actually, I like this one. Nasta it just looks old in Florida. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't know why I'm standing. I can sit down. And then we have the bag of postcards. Definitely gonna put one of my Augusta main postcards because I have a bazillion of them. My guess is these are from this. 70s maybe 80s I don't know and then I have these these are from uh, Japan my cousin's husband and his family they lived in um, Japan or in Tokyo for for many many years well his parents just moved back but they lived there for over 30 years or 40 years I think um, they're missionaries but yeah, so whenever my cousin went to go there with her husband, she would bring me Japanese stuff back. All right, so now we can start figuring out what we're going to put in the, uh, how we're going to add all these things. So I'm going to have to make pockets, because I only have these little pockets here. Okay. Oh, over here. Okay, so I def didn't I? Oh, it's already in here. Because I was looking, trying to figure out where I would stick this. So let's just see if we can find a nice spot for this. How about we put it right here? And then you can take this out and write on the uh, tag. And then you could also glue it in so you have a little pocket here. Let's see, I have my playing cards. Oops. What did I do with my playing cards? We can stick this in here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so glue, glue, glue. Ugh. I'm gonna make sure I'm gluing it the right way. Yeah. Dog and husband are walking around up there, and it's fairly loud. I don't know what they're doing. Or my husband's walking around and the dog's following. If I'm not there, he follows my husband. If I'm there, he's on he's my shadow. Okay, so we're gonna stick this in here. I'm gonna take this tag out real quick. Because in case the glue oozes out of up here, I don't want the tag to get glued onto the paper. <laughs> okay. Now we can stick this back in here. And this could go. Oops, there you go. So you can at least see, hey, there's a pocket. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I don't really have made any pockets. I know. I made like these little things. But I didn't um didn't make pockets for my big tags that I my surprise tags that I made. Here's my favorite. 
Okay, what could I use as pockets? So we have a postcard, we have this, we have tag. Well, I'm not gonna put all tags in there, but I'm gonna put some in there. This we can clip over a page with this um, index clip. We can actually bend those open a little bit if they're too tight. Let's see where we can stick this thing. Oh, here's a pocket. We can stick something in there. Maybe we can fold those forms. Oh yeah, never mind. I, we have those pockets. Gosh, my brain. <laughs> okay. And then we have a postcard. And then, oh, we have this little, oh, you know what? We could put the photo in here. Put the photo in here and the ticket in here. Where else do we have pockets? Oh, you can't really see that. Ooh. Let's stick the light in here. <laughs> and then in here we could have... And I mean, whoever gets this postcard can always add more stuff. So you could technically put another pocket here and stick something else in here. Or you could put paper on here and write on here. A journal that you, like this that you receive or buy or get as a gift is does like it doesn't mean it has to stay the way it is you can always modify it and add your own touch and your own ideas to it okay i am gonna have to blow my nose real quick okay i forgot to take my allergy medication last night i have to take it in the evening so yeah i've been sneezing a lot today <laughs> <clears throat> so we have a urchin tag. It's a sticker, so you can actually stick this on on a page if you um, want to. Urchin. We're gonna stick you under here so you stand out. What else do we have? Oh, a check. Here we have this form. Let's fold these, and you could write on the back of these um, forms. a date on them? Nope. Oh, from 1989. <laughs> so it's not that old. It's still vintage. Okay, what did I do with the other? I had like on the... Um, ledger paper like on the other side of this one we had a pocket where are you my dear where are you oh here we go there you are what are we gonna stick in here yeah you can look out <laughs> okay and you can always take these things out and craft with them and use them on a different journal or a different project. You don't have to keep them in here. This is just like a little extra so you can do stuff. I really like this. And we have this in here. Do we have another one? We have another one of those. I thought I had two of those side pockets. Like this one. This one, this one, choo 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 choo. Hmm. 
Oh, here we go. I should put a tag in here. Which one do I want? Oh, we still have the playing cards too. So I'm going to have to make a pocket for those. And I kind of want to make a pocket for this because I don't like putting tags inside pockets. I like them to stick them in a bottom pocket so you can still see the top of them. But we can put this paper in here. And when I stick this in here, you can actually see this cool Chinese writing here. Okay, so um, I'm going to do something with this. Where would I put that? Oh, okay. So we need pockets. We need two pockets. Well, two or three pockets. What could we use for pockets? Oh, we also have these things. So yeah, we need, definitely need a whole bunch of pockets. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use to make pockets. I'm gonna go through my stash here. Mm. I don't think these are, are these pockets? Maybe I got some pockets left here. Could be a oh no it's not a pocket it's a flip thingy this could be a pocket let's make this a pocket Down here, so I gotta I wanna try to spread it out a little bit. How about here? This is not this is a crooked. Oh, it's because I didn't trim the paper off that's overlapping the see I did this, it was a collage, I did this on a old piece of scrapbook paper that I never used. I'm hoping to get this video up by tomorrow and tomorrow's Mother's Day. So if this is, if you watch this on Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers. This will be my second Mother's Day. And I already got some flowers and a really nice car today. And yesterday when my husband came home with my uh, our daughter, she um, handed me a little something that they did at daycare. And oh, it warmed my heart. It's so nice when your kid makes something for you. I mean, she's 20 months, so she doesn't really uh, probably understand it yet. But still, she could tell how happy mommy was. <laughs> Saving all her artwork. Okay. Pocket. And I just made a... Uh, something with my silhouette cameo from one of my friends and I'm gonna drop off her Mother's Day gift tomorrow. Oh yeah, it's been a crafty day. Well, not crafty day, crafty evening. I spent all day with my daughter because my husband was outside with the landscapers over and they finished our lawn. Um, and then my husband was doing a lot more stuff outside, so... And then we went outside to walk around and play. It was really nice, but it's still chilly out. It's so weird, it never warms up here, apparently. Okay, so we could stick this in here. Mm. Get a back, I forgot to back those. Ugh. Okay, then we need another one, another um, pocket where I can stick these guys in. What could we use for those? Oh, I gotta organize this mess here. This could be like a bookmark. Huh. 
Maybe I can make something with that. Oh, you know what? I had some more stuff here. I think they're like leftovers. Oh, this is probably too big. Those cards. Yeah, I can't really see them. Bummer. I don't know why I don't keep this together. Ugh, no, I just closed it. <laughs> Come on. Or maybe we'll put this flip thingy in here if it fits. Ugh. Nope, it doesn't fit. Oh man. Oh yeah, I remember I made this way too wide for my other journal as well. That's why I didn't use it. Okay. Let's see if we can do something with this. I think we can. Let's see. Only glue this way and this way and then it's like a corner tuck well it's not really a corner but it's on like I only glue a corner oopsies there I said it again oopsies okay And what are we going to stick in this one? Another one of those tags, I guess, that I made in my yesterday's video. Okay, so let us uh, back those tags. Then use paper. We can use this. Where's my glue stick? What we could do is put a pocket on a tag and stick those in there. What could I use for a pocket? I need something that's sturdy. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'll use this because this is like a leftover. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, how about we use these scissors here and make a nice edge. Glue this on here, cut this off in the bottom. Oh, how crooked. <laughs> okay, first I want to back this. Okay. 
it's I think it's uh, cloudy out, but tonight, a little after 8 p.m., we're supposed to see a rocket that's being launched in Virginia. But it was supposed to launch yesterday, but then they postponed it because of weather, but I think now it's supposed to happen tonight. And yesterday it was not cloudy, it was clear sky, so we could have seen it. Today it's cloudy, so we won't see the rocket. Bummer. I really would have liked to see that. Somehow whenever something's supposed to happen in the sky here, it's cloudy. Same with the northern lights. <laughs> and I'm outside and I'm hoping and looking and nope, nothing. Clouds. Oh well. I remember when I was, I think, 13 or 14. Uh, maybe, yeah, I don't remember exactly. Uh, when I lived in Germany, there was a meteor shower and my friend and I, my best friend at the time, and I we actually spent the night on her balcony, um, like on lawn chairs. We slept there with our sleeping bags and there were so many shooting stars. That was so amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful because it was not cloudy. And we're just laying there in our sleeping bags, looking up in the sky and you would see so many. I think I saw like over 20 in a, um, in a short, short period of time. So yeah, it was really neat. Okay, I have an idea um, because I want to get to know my viewers better. I figured, hey, I could every time I film a video, I could do a uh, ask you guys a question, like a question of the day, <laughs> and then you can answer that in in um, in the comments, and I will obviously answer it too. I can answer it on camera. So I think my first question is when did you start making junk journals do you remember when it was um for me it was last about a year ago it was last year i think in april i've wanted to make them for a long time but then um i finally started i think the week before Easter of 2020 and then we had a power outage for a couple of days almost a week actually on Easter starting on the two days before Easter and that's actually when I dyed my first paper with coffee because my husband had made coffee I think before we lost power and then we had like he had like cold coffee left I'm like hey can I steal that and he's like sure so I actually dyed coffee <laughs> Uh, I coffee, dyed paper with coffee for the first time and used that in uh, a journal. My very first journal. So yeah, for me it's been like a little over a year. Time flies when you're having fun. And then, I mean, I did take a break for a while. Because my craftiness comes like in phases. There's times when I'm like, I can't wait to go in my craft room and then there's days when I'm just so exhausted. And I just can't. Like last night I didn't do anything. My husband and I actually watched a movie last night because we don't really have a lot of time together. So I'm like, let's do that. And then our daughter didn't sleep until almost 11 because she had some health issues going on. Poor baby. Um, yeah. Ta-da! How was that? Okay. Where was I gonna put that? Oh yeah, I glued, I made this pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna find it again. <laughs> ah, it was this one, I think. Ta-da! Well, you can't really see. Uh -huh. Did I make another pocket? Oh yeah, I did. This one. Okay, let's do this. 
because then you can still see, oh, there's another thing. So pocket one, and then this lovely one is going to go in this pocket. Ta-da! I really like how the bicycle is in there. Neat. Um, let's see if that's what we're going to leave it at. Oh yeah, I was going to do this. Let's do this real quick. I'm going to make a nameplate that says journal. And for that, I'm going to use... Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I This is also... I know I said I was going to make a... I'm going to make a video where I show you how I copy dye my stuff. But I just found these uh, index cards. And I really love this. This is made with lace. Um... Okay, I'm gonna use this. Now I gotta measure how big this needs to be. About two and a half, I would say by one. Yeah, two and a half by one. And then we are going to stamp journal on there, or memories. I'm gonna do journal. I am so curious who's gonna win this. What is I two and a half? Oh, that's three and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half <laughs> by one. All righty. And then what I like to do, I like to distress it. Um, because it look, makes it look like a really old piece of, like an old, old label. If you can't have, if you don't find old stuff in the stores, make your own old stuff or like looks old stuff. Uh, it looks old stuff. It looks old stuff that looks old. Gosh. Okay, that's neat. And now we're gonna do. I have these. Um, I can also link those. So these are actually, I have, <laughs> this is mushroom. I have upper letter and lower, or uppercase and lowercase letters. And you can actually stick these together. So the letters, uh, each letter, like they have the correct distance. Because I also, I think I talked about this before. Because I also have um, like these little wooden single letter stamps that you can find like the whole alphabet for like a dollar at Michael's. It used to be like in their dollar bins. Um... But with those, it's really hard to, to line them up. So I like to use these ones. And then I make like, I have memories. I think that's on my childhood memories um, journal. Oh, no, actually, no, I put that on a different one. Let me just see if this works. Okay, we get it. Get more out of this. Nope, why are you not? Do we have a different brown? No, we don't. Okay, why is this not? Stamping better. I need to do the walnut stain. I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so this is better. Walnut stain. Because I've always this one is vintage photo, and then the small little one is um, walnut stain. So now I gotta line it up. It's like centered. And not crooked. Ta-da! And obviously it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Oh, that's pretty. I love it. So, ta-da! That's the journal. And for real this time in the next video, I'm going to film a flip through and tell you how you can enter to win this lovely thing. And then I think I'm going to maybe leave the, um, I'm going to do some more distressing because I want to see that itch. Um, I'm probably going to leave it open for a week or so. I know I already have 510 subscribers, so thank you. And I love reading all your comments and I try to reply to all your comments. Sometimes it takes me a couple of days. Okay, that looks old. <laughs> Neat. Awesome.
let me know what you think. And um, I can't wait to figure out who's going to win this. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.